Well, hello, D. Roy Cruz here, Big D Channel. Just wanted to show you what I got in the mail last night. Um, they finally arrived, arrived from Amazon. Um, I think I paid forty dollars for these. Yeah, I paid. Wait. Yeah, I paid around forty, forty-nine dollars, something like that, for these on Amazon. Or it might be thirty-nine. I need to look at my receipt. It's either thirty-nine or forty-nine dollars, plus tax, shipping. Well, Amazon doesn't charge me for shipping that much because I'm always buying everything from Amazon, so they don't charge me a lot for shipping. But um, I forget whether they were thirty-nine or forty-nine. Okay. But anyway, these are ninety. Artix 90B, I don't know if that means that there is a 90A, but it says 90B, so I don't know, but there's 90 uh, pastels here, not, not pastels, I'm sorry, that's why I did another video, uh, 90 alcohol markers, these are alcohol markers, 90 alcohol markers, okay, and they come in these staves inside this lovely box. And this box, they all fit in this box, which has a which has um, which is a carrying case. And I love that. Okay, a little bit too ladylike for me, but I still love it. I mean, what else am I going to store them if I want to take all ninety markers with me somewhere? Um, where would I store them at other than this lovely box, okay? And then you can turn the box like this, which I can see myself doing that a lot. You can flip the box around like that, and you have them in here, and you can just, you'll see the, you know, they're, they're in there, and you can see the number, and you know, and you'll have them in order in these little staves, which is what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, I'm going to put them in order in these staves the way I want them, and then I'm going to put them back in a box. I'm not, I don't have, I don't want them standing straight up, and I don't want them, want them laying down because I'm afraid they'll fall out of here, okay? So I'm going to just keep them standing straight up, okay? But I'm going to put them, I'm going to put them in the order that I like them, then I'm going to put them back in here, okay? And um, I'm going to have fun, Um I've never had 90 anything. I haven't had 90 girlfriends. I haven't I haven't had 90 sets of shoes, pairs of shoes. I haven't had I haven't had $90 to spend on myself. My goodness. You know, I mean, I spent $90 on these markers though, but man, other than my um other than my um what do you call them? Uh, my ink tens pencils, my ink tens pencils aren't even 90 ink tens pencils. They're only 72. Okay. Um, and I think my, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How many? I have my Arctic pastels here. Um, how much are these? How many are, oh, 72. So you just like my ink tens pencils. There's 72 oil pastels. I have, I, I got those too. Um, but I don't have 90 of anything else. I don't have 90 of anything. This is the first time in my life where I've had 90 of one single thing to work with in my entire life. 90, 90 markers, and I think they only cost me about like, 39 or again 39 or 49 dollars okay and again they come in this lovely box and I've tested them out look at all these colors look at all these colors okay and I was really worried about the color collection because somebody did a review on these and they talked about the colors and they talked about the bullet nib after I had already ordered the set they talked about they didn't like some of the colors, but um, look at these colors. Now, look, just like my Artix oil pastels, they have a lot of um, 
colors that are very close to each other, you know, like your pinks and your reds, okay? Um, and what I love here, too, is that there's less pastel colors than there are natural colors. Now, in my 48 set of Ahuhus, it seems like there's more pastel colors than there's natural colors. But look at all these dark colors in here. Everything from black to red to brown to blue, okay? And a lady was complaining about the colors, and I think, to me, I think the colors here are awesome. Um, and, you know, you have a lot of skin tones in here, and so if we're looking, look, look at all those colors that you can use for skin tones. Look at that. All these pastel colors, most of them can be used for skin tones. The grays, the oranges, and the pinks, and the... Uh, you know, they can be used for skin tones, for hair color. Um, just wonderful. Um, it comes with the color swatch. It comes with this postcard. Now, the color swatch, I swatched all these out on my own. They just send you the paper to do it on, and they give you the name of the colors. You only see the numbers on the pen, but... They give you the names of the colors, so, you know, I don't know if this means that they have them open stock somewhere, or you can buy them online open stock, or if they just do this to help you out. They probably just do this to, to um, help you out um, in keeping things in good order. Um, for example, you know, like this uh, 70 here is what? Royal Blue. And so, as you use the swatch so many times, as you use the markers, you understand that 70 is royal blue. You know, if you love number 70, you know that it's royal blue. That's why you love it so much. Go over here to one of these pastel colors like today. In this drawing here, I used um, certain numbers over here. And I didn't even have to pull them out and hide them somewhere, you know, like you usually do when they teach you to do when you do markers. Um, all I had to do was memorize the number, and I could go back and use that marker again, okay, um, without getting two colors that are close together lost. I could keep on going right in here, and, you know, and then I could look on here on the swatch sheet, to see what kind of colors I want um, for my project. So it comes with a lovely postcard and it comes with this thank you card where you can, we would love to see your sharing of our products by using the following hashtag on social media. Okay, so you have this little card to keep contact with uh, Artix and you have a postcard I guess this is just some random postcard you can use to send um, something I might use it to send a message to my stepdaughter for her uh, for her birthday and then I just was messing around her birthday's on Valentine's Day and I might just use this card to as a reminder that I want to take her out for her um, her birthday being it's on Valentine's Day. I haven't taken my girls out to eat uh, for for a few years. I would love to start getting more involved in their life. Um, but um, this is just some messing around I did, nothing artistic. Um, I was a little bit nervous about that bullet nib because I don't I don't use bullet nib like I the only bullet nib I have is the Spectrum Nor, and I don't even use my Spectrum Nor because the bullet nib seems like when you use it, less ink comes out than the, the brush nib. But here, this bullet nib, um, in most of the colors on the swatchy, I use the bullet nib. And as you can see, they're very saturated, the pastel colors as well as the natural colors. Okay? Very saturated. Okay, um, and even though the colors are very close together, all the basic colors that you need are there. You can draw whatever you need. Okay, so here's the chisel nib. 
Okay. There's the chisel nib. And here's the bullet. Here's the bullet nib. This bullet nib is almost like my Posca pins. Okay, not my Posca pins. I'm sorry, not my Posca pins. My, uh, here they are here. My, um, pit pins. Okay, it's a little wee bit bigger than a pit pin. And as you can see, um, I added details with, I just flip the pin around and add details with it, and that's something I didn't think about until I actually got these in the mail yesterday, is I could use, hopefully I could use the bullet nib to do details like this here, like I did on her face, and it worked, okay? But here's my, here's my pit pin, Faber-Castell pit pin, okay? And let's, they show you on here the bullet nib and the chisel nib, you know, the sides. Okay, now look. It's only a little wee bit bigger than, than my pit pin fine liners, okay? It's almost exactly the same. It's almost exactly the same. So, these are good for adding details. Last night when I got these in the mail, I wrote my name there. This is the chisel chisel nib and this is the bullet okay and as you can see um, not only are these good pens for drawing but if you want to you can use them for uh, you know writing letters or or, or you know uh, writing designs you know design or you know calligraphy or whatever okay um, and that's that but here, you know, I use the pastel colors in here with both the chisel nib and the bullet nib. This is mostly um, the bullet nib. The, the, the skin tone is with the chisel nib, and the rest of it is with the bullet nib. And here I have a mixture of the chisel nib. All the big spaces are the dark colors and a chisel nib. And the light colors are both the chisel nib and the bullet nib. And the, the, the lines are all bullet nib. And even the thicker lines are the bullet nib also. Um, and these colors are very nice. They're very nice. And um, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. So there you have it. 90. 90 Arctic's alcohol markers okay with the storage box to put them in um, and as you can see they don't roll if you put them down lightly they they don't go nowhere because they're kind of triangular in shape um, I am totally excited about these and um, I think that's it um, thank you for watching, and um, if you have any questions, leave something in the comment section. I think I paid, again, $39, $49, somewhere in there for these. Um, I ordered two things. Um, I ordered some of Hoo's too, for a friend of mine. So I forget which ones were $39, which ones were $49. I know the uh, Hoo Hoo, they, the price went up to $30 some dollars. So yeah, these were $49 because the Hoo Hoo was like $30 some. So, um, but hey, $90. Try to get $90 alcohol markers from Blick or, or Copics. Okay? You're going to have to sell your house. Okay? It ain't going to happen. Okay, or sell your car at least. Okay, but I think these are awesome, and um, I think um, I think I'm just going to have a lot of great fun with these, and be able to create a lot of good professional art with these when I get around to creating professional art. So thank you for watching. D. Roy Cruz on my Big D channel. Um, 
Also, look for me on my other uh, th three channels. Um, but this here is my art and music channel. So, um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you again with more. Leave a comment, like, dislike, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. See you later.